Hello, my wonderful people. Good morning and welcome to God's Lost You channel, the home of news. If it is your first time of coming across this platform and you like what we are doing, kindly subscribe, put on your notification bell to all notification. This will enable you to know when we upload a new video here. We react to all forms of videos, local, international, especially what is happening in Nigeria. <laughs> so... This time around, I think it's a female or women time. <laughs> Tinubu wife. In fact, you guys know, I, I believe wherever she is, if she they hear and see waiting people, they talk. <laughs> make her listen. They, they beg Igbos in Lagos. Say, make her stay in one. You understand? Make her watch. Community that will unite all the ethnicity in Nigeria. I've and in, in this instance, she's calling the Igbos to join and wear the clothes. What's your case? I'm going to need to go to either Warren, any region, ethnicity region where he belongs to in Warren or Delta State or Ebo State. He, she should go there and sit down. After lambasting Igbos, after sacking Igbos in Lagos State, I'm going to be trying to fabricate the whole country and bring everybody together after what? Sabotaging the economy of the country. Using his husband, her husband, sorry, her husband position in Nigeria to siphon Nigerian Commonwealth. She's now trying to reunite us. After liquidating the economy of the country, Oluremi Trubu is trying to what? Unite Nigerians. After reaching the Ibos, Oluremi Trubu is still trying to bring the Ibos together. Has she forgotten in a race that she has given the Ibos quick notice? How many months or years ago? And we have it on social media. She has not. Yet, come out to apologize to Ibos. Before that fabrication or fabrics, whatever I call, she calls it, could work, Oluremi Chirubu should come to national television and apologize to all the aggrieved regions of this country. The countries, the regions, she lambasted with her, whatever you call it, you know, ethnic divisions. She lambasted the Ibo, she destroyed the Ibo, she, she debunked the Ibo, she denied the Ibo, she hates the Ibo with ethnic divisiveness. Now she's trying to bring us together, Oga. We are not global people, Oluremi Tinubu. We are Ibo men, we are not from Southwest. We are Ibo's, we have culture that ran back, as I'm talking to you, 13,000 BC. We've been the oldest tribe, the oldest race on the continent of Africa. You can never beat an Igbo man eh, and go scot-free. Not as in say, Igbo man go, go carry knife, cut you. No. He will be here. We might be at least uniting, talking, blah, 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 blah. But that wound, we don't let go easily. Okay, I've never seen an Igbo man being, you know, jealous, you know, uh, loquacious as in talking, rejecting other people, rejecting strangers. Ibo man can never say stranger. Say, you are a stranger. What are you doing here? Go. Other, other Ibo men around will round him up and take him to the village square. He must swear that he will never ever rubbish any sojourner, let alone harass a traveler, a stranger in Ibo land. It's an abomination in Ibo land. To see a stranger in Ibo land and harass him and say, you are a stranger. Leave our community for us. Oh God, we are not doing like that too. Our life is not like that. We are the Hebrews. You can trace out to the Bible where God says, when you see a stranger, take care of him. For you don't know if he is an angel from God. We regard every stranger in the Hebrew land. We don't know when God visits us. In my community where I come from, uniting Nigerians together with whatever you call it, I don't know the name of the platform, it can't work because you've not yet Apologize to Bibles. She calls it a fabric of national unity. Okay, that is English. My own. I call it the high standard level of what? Scheming to deceive Ibo man, to lead Ibo man into excess docility, gullibility. We are not. That fabrication. Uh, fabricate go to technology. Fabricate it as in tech, science and technology so that we will start buy it, which will be buying. On okay, any fabrication that leads to, what do you call it, uh, let me just put it like uh, reconciliation. On okay, reconciliation and national, uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, reintegration, happened many years ago. Go on, tried and tried. You people failed, go on. 
Oh God, nothing like that fabrication again. The Ibo man has. We have watched you all over the world. A situation whereby you say these people they will live like us. They will live like us. They will live like us. Omo Ibo ni they could not allow them marry your boy. They will live like us. Oh God, that Oh God, Mama Tinubu, Madam Tinubu, we don't go. That matter don't far. We know. We know. Nothing like in it. This time where that's where I want to go. Now they tell me say fabrication of units. Who want to go? We are tired. Why, why, we are why? tired of go. One, make could not buy land again. We people to go to southeast. We are tired of Omo Ibo, Ale Joma Ale Jenya Anta Ile Eko Sile Fuo Omo Ibo. We are tired. That you about when you talk that time. Now you make me hear you about. I not understand you I have everything. Which you need to want again? Olu Emi Tinubu. See. Whatever you want to do, Ibo man has read meaning into what you said. We are not fools now. When you marry to Nubu, marry and finish. You marry him. You know, nobody concerned Ibo. See, nothing like you need. Ibo man should go. As you said it, we are going. You know how many boys that left Southwest? As a result of here, every little local city, local churchness, people that don't control what comes out here. How could you just, two persons are fighting, you could come. You should only do. How are you? How are you? Just bring them to peace. Instead of instigating the other person into believing that you hurt or you are jealous of him or her. So it's, it's not right. There's nothing you can fabricate again. You can't fabricate any fact into what is in vogue, what is trending currently on social media, currently in our life, in the society, every state of the southeastern Nigeria, the locals, the indigenous believe that you hurt Igbo. They, they listen to you now. Oh, God, listen. Go to him and say, they hear Yoruba more than you. Oh, me, we hear Yoruba in a number more than you. You sack us, all of us in Lagos Island. You threaten to sack more. 2023. And actually, your husband lost the election. Tribu was the, lost the election. You threaten to do what? Demolish the whole chop all over Lagos because Igbos are the traders. Madam, no reintegration, no fabrication, no what? Reconciliation, no reconstruction. After all, reconstruction, reconstruction since 54 years ago. How many reconstruction have you success, successfully achieved? But Mr. Rafael, our statements were simple that if the Igbos, after uh, receiving our support, because she claims that the Igbos have enjoyed so much support from her. And her husband in Lagos. Who is that? Let me tell you. <laughs> I mean, this was, this was the reason why she made that statement in 2019. That they gave the Igbo so much chance. But they are now trying to betray them. That was the reason why she uttered those words there. She actually apologized when she made this fabric of unity. That uh, that the Igbo should just join hands together with everybody so that they can move Nigeria forward. After, after, and can now her husband to actually move the country forward. Thank you so much. We are not like that. After destroying our properties at Abulodo, after destroying our jobs at Axis of our Papa, after destroying Trinity, Trinity, where Umude Oka people in Anambra states are doing their business. They are teamly based in Trinity, our Papa area. Umude Oka. The whole papers shop there are owned by people from Umudioka, extraction in Anambra State. After the destruction of their jobs, their properties, very late night, they lost everything. Look at Landmarks Resort. It's going to World Bank, uh, World Cup, sorry. Now the same her husband, no, 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 no. We not accept anything, reconciliation. Whatever you say that you have apologized, your apology, not accepted. Menini, ap 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 apology, Kosi, accept it. Mba. Menini, apology because you accept it. Apologizing to Ibos, meaning that you will pay for land, land, land market resorts. You are going to pay for all those shops that fire gutter that night. You are going to pay for the buildings destroyed at Alaba Axis, Ibo, Ibo Man properties. On that pay, when you pay finish, we will talk about reconciliation and the apolo, apolo, apologetic. Being apologetic, when you apologize, you apologize, but you must pay before apologizing. We are not gullible. We are not poor. We don't beg anybody to integrate Igbo into Nigeria. Okay, make you enjoy your leadership in Nigeria. We are Igbos. We are neglected, rejected, and we are not begging for leadership. Okay, madam, look at 
Even this October first protest coming, we are not protesting. No, <laughs> no now why would we protest? Are we part of Nigeria? Are you why are we? Should not ah, no, no, no. You never know. You know they read the handwriting on the wall. You don't see me talk about first October. Are you not feeling the hardship? Okay, we are all feeling it, but we know people that are feeling it more. The people that went out on print. The people that stab Ibos at the polling unit, election, election uh, uh, wards. For various wards, there are wards. There are many injuries. So we are blinded with all manner of clubs and jackknife. He didn't you see that Ibo man that they stab on the face. So he wants him to go and protest. Protest against who? When he protests against Lubu, that another one has gone. All of them go come and say, Naibo, Naibo, Kossam. I will say, I'm going go team up. Why Ibo? Be Ibo like this. The way I do them in 1966. You know, so we know they mention anyhow word that is full of bloodiness. But it went blood in 1966 when the whole ethnic unit units in Nigeria orchestrated the coup of 1966. After what happened, Hiroshi died. Faji died. Igbo officers in the barracks, Obasanjo and Co. Malta Mohammed and this Ewu, Ewu Buhari, all of them they fought the whole Igbo, 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 Igbo officers. Military soldiers from southeastern Nigeria were killed all over the barracks across the country. Why? Ibo coup. Which Ibo coup? That coup was in a need for a way to rule Nigeria. Why it come become Ibo coup? Adebo, 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 uh, and then Adebo, uh, the author of Why We Struck. Go and read books. When I read the read book, all of Nawe say when I go to school, when I read the read book, well, well. Adebo, uh, and I write that. Why We Struck? The, the gentleman streamlined reasons. Understand? Why they struck? Why they don't want the group of politicians we have then, Zeke, Akintola, Tafa Balawa, Sadano, Sokoto, all of them. I you understand me? Projects the reasons, the bloody reasons that brought about that coup, the coup of 1966. That day, that year, they said it was Igbo. They went and killed the whole Igbos. Oga, we are tired of dying. You people should what die our death now because we don't die, 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 die. Ibo man, no one die again. You people should not die our death. Okay, I'm of the opinion that first October protest, no Ibo man should come out to it. Don't they happen again? No, no Ibo man should come out. Everybody should sit back to avoid the trouble so the Ibo man will be free. Well, thank you very much for that uh, brilliant submission, Mr. Raphael. Uh, let me take you to. Uh, Pastor, welcome, sir. God bless you. Yes, uh, Remy Tinobu, the wife of the Nigerian president, is calling for unity. And then she introduced a fabric. She called it a fabric of national unity. And most especially, she's targeting the Biafrans, the Igbos. You know, I mean, is it not time for the Igbos to finally forgive her? Uh, actually, <laughs> you know... When you, they want to speak with the proverb now, start with proverb. When you are going for a, a road like this, and you shit, it will be easy for you to forget that you shit on this very track. But it will not be easy for the person that pass by, the passer by, who encounter that shit to easily forget it. Are you getting it? Yeah. So, uh, Tunubu wife should just take heart because the Biafrans, the Igbos, you can't teach them a business. Yeah, because we already build, we grew up in time of business. It's here. Are you getting it? You coming out, you, do they should know how to run business. They should have your business IQ. You cannot teach me what I know more than you. So bringing that as a strategy in order for Igbos to come. No, 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 no. We have grown above that strategies. We have grown above that strategies. Check, take a look at Nigerian economy. In whose hand is, is, is it? In whose hand is it? The Igbo men hold the economy. Igbos hold the strong rule. When you talk of the business, Igbos hold the active position of business in this country. 
So you cannot just come because you'll be a wife of president and form and form whatsoever you may like to give it a name. And you want to use it to unite Igbos. For Igbos to do what? To withdraw. Our express intention to withdraw yes, from agitation. Yes, yes. To withdraw from agitation. Yes, so everybody can wear the same clothes. My dear, nobody. You can remain one Nigeria. No, there's only oh no, one Nigeria is a scam for your information. If, it's, if she is still reasoning that, one Nigeria is a scam. Hello, Her Excellency, I want to put you in remembrance that in 1997, April 13, your so called husband, the Tunubu, your husband, Mr. President, today, said that he did not believe in one Nigeria.